Hi, people in other world it's uh three o'clock in the afternoon now it's quarter to two in the afternoon even on the 5th of march 2015 and um <clears throat> brief interlude brief interlude between readings i'm absolutely rammed at the moment i seem to be working solidly at the moment but i can't help but keep up with what's happening it's full moon it's full moon now it's full moon exactly in about four hours time I think it's six minutes past six or seven minutes past six tonight, UK time. And it's full moon in Virgo, halfway through Virgo at 14 degrees 50, 14 degrees 51, opposite the sun, opposite Chiron, trine Pluto very strongly indeed in a very positive way, in conjunct Venus and Uranus, which is a sign of times to come in the coming days and week or so. But... We'll deal with that one tomorrow or the next day. It's full moon. And it's full moon in Virgo. I kind of like this full moon. It's one of the full moons of the year as far as uh, opportunities and growth goes. But it is a narrow window, you know. The, the last new moon was at 29.59 of Aquarius on the nodal, on the cusp of the ages. And the next uh, new moon will be at 29 degrees 30 of Pisces, 29 degrees 40 of Pisces. And it will be an eclipse in the very final part of the final degree of the Zodiac. And that'll be followed, of course, by the eclipse of the total eclipse of the moon on the 4th of April, which is going to bring an end to, in many ways, to the individual suffering of the Grand Crosses over the last three, four years and the Uranus-Pluto square. So we're right in the mix, but right now, today, now, and for the next few hours, the moon is in a really nice place. And the aspects that it's making to both Chiron and Pluto, Chiron and Pluto get on with each other, you know? They're uncool. Chiron is, is the son of Zeus, Jupiter, and Pluto is Zeus, Jupiter's brother, in his disguise as Hades. So there's a relationship between the two of them, and it's not unhealthy. And, of course, the moon is in Virgo, where Chiron does have an affinity, and Pluto's not uncomfortable either. So I would suggest that there is a degree of uh, deeper, more unconscious and subconscious issues going on around integration, holism, transformation, regeneration and rebirth, but also assimilation. The, the, the ceasing to look at individual symptoms and instead looking at the uh, base cause of what's going wrong. Stopping to, you know, it's no point putting a, put a sticking a, um, a sticking plaster on a nuclear reactor if there's just more and more fuel coming in in the first place. You have to nip it in the bud. And for today, this is a nice full moon. There's positive aspects out there. There's every indication for people at the moment to actually go, ah, right, I'm going to sit still and I'm going to eat well and I'm going to have a good bath and I'm going to go and get good eight hours or nine hours sleep and I'm going to recharge because the coming couple of weeks, coming four weeks, are not going to be easy. There's going to be quite a lot of uh, short temper, lack of sleep. So any recharging and revitalizing that individuals or individually or collectively that we can do now, it's got to be a good thing. Um, the days of the long void moons are beginning to draw to a close. There's still one or two in the next few days. And I think there's one from about six o'clock tonight for the next 24 hours. So I'm not holding my breath on this, but we're now moving into, after this new moon, after tonight, after, after perhaps midnight tonight, UK time, we're moving now towards into eclipse patterns, and this is the finale of the Uranus-Pluto square. So, over the next 24 hours, don't go out and push the boat out. It's not that type of full moon. It's not the full moon for excess. It's the full moon for quality, not quantity. It's the full moon to go and drink fine wine and port instead of gallons of cider. It's the, it's the time to go and behave with a degree of finesse and dignity to top up the, the 
the exquisiteness of your reservoirs so that when the time comes you can act not only in an effective and in an efficient way but also in an elegant and aesthetic way and the more we can manifest those energies over the coming four weeks the more the future of the species is looking better and better here's to that one catch you later bye